Hi guys, Joey here with Joey Scale Models and today we're going to be taking a look at a new model that I just received um, off the internet and I'm going to be doing basically an unboxing to take a look at the parts inside, talk a little bit about its details. As you see this model is the F-22 Raptor. It is 148 scale and it's by Hasegawa um, or Hasegawa. I've heard some of my Japanese friends tell me that it's pronounced Hasegawa. Here in America we say Hasegawa. Um, at any rate, this is a kit that's been around for a little while and Hasegawa is also a very popular kit throughout uh, the world. These kits are actually very pricey, at least they are here in America. They're considered imports, <clears throat> so they are kind of pricely, pricey. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I had to go out and actually try to find one on eBay um, and try to get one a little bit cheaper. If you were to buy this brand spanking new, it's going to be, I think, somewhere between $50 and $70. Um, I got this one for around $30 some dollars off of uh, eBay. And because I did get it second hand, it already was opened. But the individual that I bought it from assured me that everything was there and true to his word, it was. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the box. Um, very typical of Hasekawa kits. <clears throat> you have the title of the model kit. Um, both in English and Japanese and then of course you have the different languages telling you that the instructions are in that language on the opposite side you have again the title of the kit the model kit number <clears throat> and then you have a nice plan view or I guess this would be a side view uh, of the actual model the scale in this case 148 um, and then on the end again you have the title the scale uh, painting, which is the same painting on the top of the box, um, the stocking number, and then the model number. Then the other side is exactly the same way, as you see right there. Okay, I'll go ahead and open up the box. And when I opened up this box, um, one of the first things I noticed was the size of this model. I didn't realize that the F-22 was a large aircraft. Um, I knew it was a big aircraft, but I thought it was smaller than the F-15 but it's almost exactly the same size as the F-15 so as you can see I'll put my hand here look how big this kit is this is my hand and so this is a pretty big model um, for 148 scale <clears throat> because this was second hand this bag was already opened uh, I'll go ahead and pull it out since it's already opened and show you some of the details here unfortunately a lot of the stealthy panels, the zigzag pattern of the stealth, are raised on this model, which is kind of shocking because usually Japanese kits are very good at having recessed panel lines. This one's almost all raised panel lines. Um, it's not bad, but it's just kind of unfortunate. Another thing too is you have this little annoying, I don't know if you can see it right here, it's almost like a little uh, pin mark. And it's left over from the molds when they when they molded this kit and then punched it out of the uh, the molds. This is like where they had to cut it, I guess. And there's another one on the other side. That's kind of annoying. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Actually, right here. And so I'll have to probably take that off as well. But that's the only blemishes I see in the entire kit. I mean, other than that, it's a very crisply done kit. The parts are pristine. Um, I can almost bet that the fit will be almost perfect, if not near perfect. Um, so just other than these little mold marks here and here, and then the race panel lines, other than that, it's a pretty good kit. Um, taking a look at the canopies, you get two different kinds of canopies. You get what they call the smoked canopy, which is really not smoked. It's a gold finish. The real airplane has a gold tint to the window. with twenty. Actually, it's 24 karat gold to be exact. Um, the B-2 Stealth Bomber has the same thing and it's to absorb or reflect radar signatures so you get this option or you get this option which is the clear canopy and uh, personally I prefer the smoked version or the gold version so I'll probably put this one on. Um, unfortunately, Hasegawa decided to package two or three parts trees to one bag instead of having them all individually bagged, but that's alright. So you have three parts trees here, 
which constitutes the uh, jet intake tunnels, uh, some of the flaps here, the bomb bay area. Here's the cockpit tub. And you have the cockpit tub right here. You have the vertical stabilizers and, of course, the bomb bay area or missile bay area. And true to Hasegawa kits, they're very detailed. Here are two tree parts. Um, parts trees that have been bagged in one single bag. And these two uh, parts trees have a lot of detail. Actually, I think there's three in there. Yeah, there's actually three parts trees in here. And this is all the small details that go with this kit. Um, here's the uh, horizontal stabilizers. Here are the uh, jet intakes. These are actually the first stage compressor fans that you would see inside the tunnels. You have your wheels, the afterburner cans. Here are the uh, afterburner turkey feathers, which are triangular shaped, again, to reduce the radar cross section. <clears throat> you can model the airplane with the bomb bay, missile bay doors open or closed. Lots of details. Take a look at the instruction sheet. Um, very typical of Hasegawa kits. It comes in a booklet form, which I always prefer. I don't like the kind of instruction sheets that open up like a map and take up the whole entire area. This isn't a booklet. Typical of Hasegawa, it comes in Japanese first, then in English. And uh, very detailed uh, instructions, very comprehensive. Typical, you start with the cockpit first and all the details, uh, the weapons bay first, and then of course the, the body. Lots of details. Very nice kit. And of course at the back you have your color guide, which is typical of all model kits with airplanes. Um, unfortunately you don't get a colored color guide. It would have been nice to have a colored sheet that's actually a photograph of the real colors. Um, you don't get that. Another thing I don't like about Hasegawa kits is the colors. I don't know if you can see this right here. You have to mix different colors to get the colors that they want. I don't really like that. I'd rather prefer having specific numbers for specific paints rather than having to mix them. So I prefer like testers. I like testers, model masters, paints. You don't have to do any mixing with those. Um, you got your decal placement. This airplane comes with three options. You get the Virginia Air National Guard option. Uh, you get the Almendorf Air Force Base in Alaska. And then you get the Holloman Air Force Base, the HO um, decals, which is the training squadron. This is a fighter squadron in Alaska and then of course out on the East Coast in Virginia. So you have three different options. Now don't be confused when it says Virginia Air National Guard. These airplanes are based at the Air National Guard base, but it's not National Guard pilots that are flying them. I should point that out. Um, some people have gotten confused as thinking, oh, the F-22 is already going to the National Guard units. No, it's just based there, but it's not necessarily flown by Guard pilots. So um, keep that in mind. Here's the top view, bottom view, and then of course the back of the sheet with all of your uh, cautionary placards and, and instructions about building the kit. The decal sheets are really nice. Um, here's the decal sheet. And as you can see, you have all of the uh, stenciling for the aircraft. It's very comprehensive, very crisp. Everything is legible. Again, here's the one that's based at the Virginia Air National Guard base out east. Here's Almendorf's up in Alaska, and then of course Holloman. Very nice decals. That's one thing I like about Hasegawa kits, uh, even Tamaya for that matter. Japanese kits in general are very nice, nicely done. Expensive, but nicely done. Okay, so that was uh, a look at Hasegawa's 148 scale F-22 Raptor. Again, it's a very nice kit. Um, it has a couple of small downsides to the kit, but overall, very typical of what you would expect from a uh, Japanese import kit. Very nicely done. I'm very happy with this, and I can't wait to uh, get started on it. And I'll probably have a video of the construction process, and then have a video of the finished airplane when I get those done. Thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. And until next time, take care.